Hey everybody, how you doing today? Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing better than me. I pinched a nerve in my my sciatic nerve. That's a nerve in your lower back that goes down your legs. And somehow or another I pinched one of them. I couldn't walk. I had to go to a doctor. And uh, they gave me a shot and some pills. And uh, told me not to do anything for a few days. So, I haven't done anything for a few days. But I'm going to come out here today. I'm feeling better. And I'm going to try to do some lightweight things, you know. But uh, anyway, that's what's going on. And let's see what we can get into. So I've decided the first thing I'm going to do today is take these foot rests off there. You can see how they're building rust, surface rust on them. I'm going to take the uh, flap disc on the grinder and give them a once over, get all that rust removed, and then give them a clear coat just to preserve it so they'll quit rusting. So they'll seal them. Same thing with the brake pedal and the mechanism for it. So that's what I'm going to do first of all. I got a nice little surprise for what I'm going to do with those. I'll show you here in a little bit. So I cleaned them up real quick and then I masked them off a little bit because I wanted to hit like this area with a black. I want the rest to remain silvery. I just don't want to get any overspray on it. And uh, the same with the feet. The only part I want on there to stay black was right where the hinge brackets are. So I just did a real quick mask on that. It's going to be on the bottom. It's not too imperative. But I wanted to give it a little contrast for when it flips up. It will help hide some of that ugly weld. And then I'm just going to give them a clear coat. And that should seal them up and keep them from rusting. I noticed it was taking on rust pretty quick. It's just been a little while since I built these and they were already... Well, you saw them. So I can't imagine how long it would take them to get really bad before I actually get ready for full on paint and stuff so I thought I'd just go ahead and do this anyway that's where we're at I'm gonna hang them up shoot them with some clear and then see what else we can get into those have a coat of clear on them and those parts hanging up over there in the doorway have got their clear on them I think you can see that the other day, I was at the Walmart, and it's just in my nature to always have my projects in the back of my mind and looking for things that I can use on them. And we were walking by the housewares department, or the house goods, whatever, and I saw these floor mats, and I thought, man, those would be perfect. Look at all them little rubber nubbies. Can you see that? I don't know how well that shows up for you. Look at all them little rubber nubbies. If I can cut that to fit the tops of those footboards and that brake pedal and adhese them on there, well, there's the end of my slip situation, my foot slipping situation. So I'm going to attempt to cut these to fit to where they're symmetrical, you know, as far as the pattern goes. They didn't have any that were all just straight nubbies like this. They had this pattern in there. So, uh, anyway, um, that's, that's the game plan. I'm going to work on that and see if I, if I can't get it to come together. All right, so I have them cut to fit. I'm going to be using some 3M Super 77 multi-adhesive. And what I'm going to do is spray both the rubber and the metal a generous coat and let it set for like 20 minutes and let it get tacky. And then I'll spray it another light coat and stick them together and put a piece of wood on them and sandwich them clamp it down and let it dry overnight so that being said let's just do it
All right, well, let's set, sit and get tacky. And in a little bit, we'll come back and stick it together. There's those faux rests with the rubbers on them. That don't look bad. It don't look perfect, but it don't look bad. I can roll with that. That'll keep my feet from slipping off, wet or dry. And that's all I'm after. It works for me. Hope you like it. Here's a little closer up shot. Pretty much what I had envisioned. Well, I want to thank you guys for coming by. I always like it when you stop by and uh, see what I'm up to. And hope you like what you saw today. And leave me some comments. Thumbs up my videos if you care to. If you're going to thumbs them down, please tell me why. <laughs> I'd like to know if there's something I'm doing that displeases you. Uh, anyway, y'all take care. Have a good one, and I'll see you in the next one. All right. Bye-bye.